Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate that. Fall time is great in so many different ways. You know, here in this household, we change our cooking styles. You know, more of those dishes that are associated for summertime go away, obviously. And we focus our time and efforts into incorporating more soups, more uh, crock pot creations, as I like to call them here in the house. But uh, also, it's time for me when I go to work to put away those summer suits and break out some more appropriate suits for fall time. You know, my flannel suits or flannel shirts in this case, my wool suits, also one of my favorite thing other than scented candles are scented fragrances that are appropriate for fall. You know, we have boozy, we have tobacco, we have spicy, patchouli, you name it, we cover it today. I am giving you 15 of what I consider some of the best niche options that are out there on the market you want to hear more about them you know what to do stay tuned baby hey you hung in there with me now i appreciate you even more shoot what are some things that you guys like to do in the fall whether it's you know cooking or you know different activities and such let me know in the comments below you guys know I love to give the energy and things like that. I don't like starting videos off on a low note, but here it is fitting. The honorable mention spot, or number 16, if you will, goes to Redbrook Parfum. If you don't know, a great friend of mine to the channel and many, many people throughout the community, Carlos, Brooklyn fragrance lover, had a hand in this creation with his uh, companion or partner in crime, as I like to, uh, to call him when I spoke to Carlos, uh, Steven over there at Red Adolescence put this one out. A thousand bottles were made, and I hope to God that they do, or that uh, Steven does a uh, second run of this. I do think many more people need to experience the uh, the beauty that was captured inside of this bottle. You know, Carlos, we still miss him. We think about him. I still see a lot of posts out there in the community, and I could tell you, Carlos would be so happy to see so many of you still talking about him and thinking about him. He he loved making an impression on people. That much I can say. And yeah, brother, we love you. We miss you. And still wish you were here, you know? Whew. All right, let's get on to the uh, the list. So number 15 this year comes from a brand called Monsiage. This one is called Wazo. Now, many people in the community, the fragrance community, will say that this is similar to Tom Ford amber absolute and i agree however this does go in a different uh direction so would they be classified in the same family sure you could definitely classify them in the same family where this goes in a different direction than amber absolute amber absolute has more of that church incense -y kind of feel which is the same feel that this fragrance gives off however other things you're finding within the fragrance like patchouli and all these different woods and resins you know you have benzoin in here you have vanilla you have sap, so you have gooey, syrupy sweetness here. However, it's contrasted with a lot of woods. Patchouli is in here. There's also some very damp, earthy nuances, accords, if you will, that you'll also experience within the fragrance. This stuff is absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. You guys have to get your noses on this. Unfortunately, at the shooting you know, of this video, this time here, it is out of stock. Check out their discovery set, sample this one. Of course, I'm always going to recommend you to do that anyway, but another great uh, opportunity to try many fragrances from the brand is to check out their discovery set. So, Wazo from Monsiage in the 15th spot. Number 14 in the list this year comes from Strangers Parfumer. This one is called Cigar Rum. If you guys have been around the channel for at least a month or longer, you are going to know that I've been talking about this fragrance quite a bit, and rightfully so. It's so good, and it is perfect for this time of year. Remember in the beginning I was saying that most of these are unisex, but then I have two that lean slightly masculine? Well, this is one of them. This does have like a, a gentleman sort of quality. However, I do think there's enough ingredients in the way that it's blended and balanced here that a woman could definitely pull off. Now, this one... I have the notes right here because they're on the bottle, which I think is a great idea, especially for people like me. You have dried fruits in here, rum, you have uh, seaweed, 
Oddly enough, I'm going to touch on that. You have tonka, you have raisin, obviously you have cigar, tobacco, and rum, of course. So boozy, cigar, nothing ashy in here, just that cigar, tobacco feel. Um, the dried fruits and the raisin here are the stars in combination with that cigar and that rum that you are going to experience. What a wonderful, affordable fragrance and house to check out if you guys haven't checked out. There is seaweed listed in here, and uh, as I've been exploring other um, offerings from this brand, I've noticed that they do, like, they put into their fragrances, like, one note that you would think, well, that doesn't make any sense. Oddly enough, it works. It, it definitely does work here. You have to try it to understand and experience it for yourself, but a great one here. Love Cigar Rum from Strangers Parfumer. Definitely check it out. I do want to know if you guys have checked out any offerings from this brand, let me know below. This year, what I, I wanted to do something special for you guys. I wanted to give you something a little bit more on the bright side, but still yet appropriate for fall, and that is the 13 spot going to Amarud. This one, what a terrible attempt at trying to do some form of an accent. Don't even know why I did that. But anyway, it's from Amarud. This one is called White Hinoki. Now, you have ginger in here. I have to mention ginger because, do you see the shot out of that atomizer? Oh man, this is so full of life. It's very invigorating, it's fresh. But then once you get to the base, when you let this fully dry down, what you get is you get these nuances of fresh cut woods. You have some spiciness. I do believe there's some patchouli in here adding to this you know, spicy, semi-earthy feel to the fragrance absolute great fragrance great offering from the brand here very very underrated brand highly underrated fragrance when you watch uh videos here on youtube that talk about the brand amaru this is one that gets left off quite often and i don't know why more people definitely need to check this one out it's so so good and it's fresh but yet it has character and enough depth to get you through the fall months. I, I wouldn't say winter, but spring and fall appropriate for sure. Check this one out from Amarud called White Hinoki. So coming in at number coming in at number 12, you guys know this fragrance. It's African leather by the brand Memo Paris. Now, this is very spicy, very dry, spicy experience. Dry leather in here. I believe there's cardamom in here and cardamom is big it's loud it's in your face there's no mistaking that this is a very strong powerful fragrance can be polarizing and challenging if you spray too much this is one of the only times you guys will hear me tell you don't spray more spray a few sprays and let it be because this one could definitely fill a room for sure with the quickness if you're not careful guys African leather is a great introduction to leather because the leather here is not challenging. Again, the whole fragrance experience to me um, is, is very dry. It's a dry fragrance experience. Uh, you have to experience it for yourself to really understand what I'm talking about there. But here, but um, the leather here is subtle. It's not a brash or a harsh leather. It's a very subtle, it's a soft leather it's it's very nice it plays very well with those contrasting notes that i had mentioned there what a great leather fragrance this is a nice introduction to niche leather style fragrances in my opinion anyway but that's memo paris coming in at number 12. number 11 comes from the brand nishane can you guess what it is and i'll give you two hints it's not fan your flames and it's not hashiva you're wrong it is B612. I promised you guys going forward, I was going to include one fougere in my fall and winter lists and see that you didn't listen. Well, how do I even know that they didn't listen? Because it's not even, the video's not even up yet. Anyway, B612. What is this fragrance? Is it a typical fougere? It is not. This has your familiar, you know, notes like lavender, oak moss, patchouli things like that. I think there's patchouli in here. There is. Uh, it's got woods in here, but very interesting. This was one of those times where I paid attention to the brief. 
Oh, there's so much freaking lavender in here. It's a lavender powder, powdery lavender bomb. But the, the, the whole idea here, if you look at the artwork, the label there, the whole idea here was to capture something atmospheric. Maybe of like what an asteroid would smell or a moon rock, perhaps. There is a almost metallic mineral like accord and nuance happening within this fragrance. Also, I find it to smell like crisp, fresh, cool air. That's another way of describing this fragrance in association with, uh, with what I had mentioned there. So very interesting, different take on a fougere. So... You have modern, you have classic, you have timeless nuances here, but you have something in a fougere that separates itself from everything else. And yes, I think this is a fantastic one to add to your fall winter rotation. Nishane B612. Phenomenal fragrance. If you don't believe me, look at that freaking dent that's in that bottle. Exceptional stuff. Number 10, good God almighty, is this stuff great. This is Incident Diplomatique. This is by the brand Javoy. Phenomenal. Chocolate cake patchouli. You have two styles of vetiver in here. I think it's Java vetiver and Haitian vetiver oil, something like that. Don't quote me. But this changed every, and I know I've said this before, but this really did change everything that I thought I knew about patchouli and vetiver. One, at once upon a time, they were my two most despised notes in perfumery, and they have become absolute love. I have come around to appreciate, love, and enjoy vetiver and patchouli in here. It is captured so well. But what else do you get? You get this sense of damp earth in combination with, uh, with wet. So imagine a rainstorm just happening. You could smell the rain on the ground, on the soil. You could also smell it on the trees nearby. The way that they were able to capture the earth, you know, if you were going on, on a hike or walking into the woods, is extremely amazing in here. I love this fragrance so much. That's why I've been talking about it a lot lately. Featured in a couple lists, and that's why it's back here. And I really love it, guys. If you were thinking about checking anything out from Javoy, please start here with Incident Diplomatique. What a great fragrance this is. We're going to number nine. We're going to talk about the mo possibly the most underrated fragrance from this house. I'm talking about Black Gold from Mansara. Fantastic, fantastic fragrance. This is marketed toward men. Women could pull, pull this off, no problem. Men, I want to talk to you for a moment. Ladies, hang tight. Men, I want to talk to you for a moment. If you thought that Tom Ford's Black Orchid was a little bit too feminine for your taste, give this one a shot. This has a little bit more of a masculine vibe, but still I find it to be perfectly unisex. Ladies, if you love Tom Ford's Black Orchid and you don't have this in your collection, check it out. Definitely sample this one. Check it out. All right. Now, ladies, gentlemen, let's unite again and talk about this fragrance. So in here, you're going to find a combination of dark floral tones. You're also going to have this dried fruits in here as well. You have this bright citrus up top that fades away in about 15 minutes, give or take. But that dried fruits, I'm going to say it's plum. That's what I feel. That's what my nose is telling me. My nose is telling me that it is plum. So you have plum combination of those dark florals again, like, that, like I had said before. You have patchouli in here. Adding some nice character, some woods here. Fantastic fragrance. Very underrated. The only knock, if I had one criticism uh, about this fragrance, does come with performance. Mansara is known, I wouldn't say beast mode, but they are known to have some very strong, powerful fragrances here. Moderate projection, moderate sillage, moderate longevity. Very moderate fragrance, right? But it is freaking beautiful one that you should not pass up if you have the opportunity to check this out sample it try it this stuff is so good everyone should definitely um experience this one really nice fragrance masterfully done in my opinion they definitely accomplished and, and achieved exactly what they were setting out to do a great again same family as black orchid however this is more of like a distant cousin if you will
All right, now we get to number eight. I believe this is, yeah, so, oh, second. This is the second gourmand-esque fragrance that we are going to be talking about. And this comes from the brand Nasamato. This is Pardon. This is Pardon. Guys, this is a love for me. This is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, especially when it comes to fall and winter time. Love this stuff. Love the color of the juice. The juice inside is just excellent. Love the pressurized atomizer. You definitely have woods in here up top. You have chocolate cake like patchouli, I believe. There also is a note of chocolate. I definitely get like a dark chocolate vibe, maybe Belgium chocolate uh, note in here, something of that sort. Definitely vanilla, possibly some benzoin in here. It's hard or, or amber and or amber. It's hard to really tell and pinpoint because the owner of the brand does not publish his notes. He sits back and watches videos like this and says, you're an idiot because what you just mentioned, you got about two notes right and seven wrong. <laughs> so anyway, obviously, you know, making fun of myself because that's just what I do and I don't care. But anyway, pardon, guys, I'm telling you right now, this is better than Black Afghano. This is better, in my opinion, than Baronda Blamage. I'm not sure about that. I'll get back to you. But this one is one you should definitely check out. Obviously, with all those fragrances from the house that I mentioned, I do quite enjoy creations from Nasamano. But Pardon is definitely a must. Check it out. Number seven, guys, comes to us from one of my favorite discoveries, 2021, the brand and the fragrance zoologist. This is Chipmunk, and this is a nature lover's dream. If you guys love being outdoors, you love the outdoors, here you go. So picture this. You're about to go for a hike and it starts to not rain, but it starts to mist. Then it passes. Then you decide, hey, now we could go on a little hiking trip. That's what you experience here. Not damp, not wet, but a little mist. And then you get that aroma of that slightly wet outdoors, the earth, the soil, the woods, the trees, the branches, everything that you could possibly imagine. Then you see this little furry little chipmunk out there gathering his nuts all up, you know, getting ready. Maybe he's going on a little adventure of his own, okay? He's gathering those nuts up and then he's off. You get a little bit of this animalic musk, but it's very, very faint in this fragrance. Here, it's all about that nutty accord. You have your patchouli in here. You have your woods in here and the other nuances and things that I had mentioned there. did a full review on this. If you care to learn more, that's all I have to say about this one. Guys, if you're sleeping on this, wake up. Just wake up. You know, there are a lot of things very satisfying being here on YouTube. One of them, though, is turning on your friends to fragrances. Shout out to you, Tara, from Olfactive Files. This one is called Silky Woods. This fingerprint magnet that I refused to clean because every time I cleaned it, I touched it again. And I'm like, you know what? Forget about it. Silky Woods, guys, smoked vanilla. You have your woods here, perhaps some oud. Almost sprayed my face and I would have been totally cool with that. Oh man, this is so good. It's so seductive. It's so intriguing, alluring. The, the sillage, the, the, the attention that this gets People just love the way I smell when I wear this. It's so good. It's so welcoming. And then it's calming and cozy. And cozy. I have, um, I had, I bought this as a partial. I had 50 mils left. The bottle is about 20% uh, left here. And I'm going to re-up. I use this almost every night in the summer before I went to bed. Because this is very calming. It, it has that character about it that I, I just find incredible. This stuff is just so sexy and gorgeous, man. So good. If you guys haven't checked out anything from the brand, I recommend you start with this. This is their more com most complex fragrance. In my opinion, this is the best release that the brand has. Yes, not Pacific Rock Moss, Silky Woods. Try it if you haven't checked it out yet. Okay. This fragrance here is going to be your best option for your rose oud slash incense combination. I'm talking about the House of Zaharoff. I'm talking about the brand's best release. Though it's not my favorite, it still is the, uh, the best release from the brand. This is Rosé. Rosé has a trifecta of rose notes in it. All you need to be concerned with 
is if there is one rose-based fragrance out there that I would recommend men start with, it's this one right here because you have this incense -y rose quality once the fragrance fully dries down. And it's an experience in itself that you have to experience for yourself to really understand what's going on. You have this myrrh, this frankincense, this oud in combination with that rose. It's very sexy. It's very intriguing. People are going to ask you what you are wearing, how they can sample it, things of that nature. That's what you can expect when you apply this fragrance. But aside from it being sexy and charismatic and all that great stuff, it's also very calming. This is also a very calming fragrance. If you're not feeling yourself, you're not feeling right or whatever, whatever you have going on in your life, spray this one time on your arm and just go back to it or any other fragrance that you find calming or relaxing and see if it doesn't just in that moment change the way you may feel. Guys, Rosé, fantastic fragrance for fall. Definitely a great one for winter and that's why it's here and that's why it's ranked so high. All right, number four. So nobody asked me, which is cool. That's fine. I threw it out there in uh, Big Boozy Energy. It's a video that I just did about boozy fragrances. I talked about Killian Angel Share being my number two favorite release from the brand. Nobody asked me what was number one. That's fine. I, I forgive all of you. It's all good. It's okay because I'm going to tell you right now. And that's why I'm recommending it here for you today. It is intoxicated. Guys, this fragrance is one of my favorites in my collection. It's so good. I know I say that a lot, and I know some of you have been commenting a lot about that, but guys, the truth is, I love fragrance. I'm very passionate about it. So yes, I do have many, many loves in my collection, and this is no exception. Here, the cardamom, you know, there's a Turkish coffee. Uh, that's what the inspiration behind this fragrance is. And you do experience that up top. You have cardamom in here. You have a, a, a hint of, of this coffee note. Now, for me, the coffee note stays throughout the entire life of the fragrance. However, it's very, very faint. So what you have more, like what's going on more in this fragrance are definitely that spicy quality coming from uh, that cardamom. You have this boozy nuances. I think that's rum there that's doing that. You also have some patchouli, some woods in here. Fantastic one. This is such a sexy, gorgeous fragrance. And that's how you're going to smell when you put this on. Great, casual. Yes, you could definitely wear this casual, but you dress this up. It adds a new dimension and characteristic, not only to the fragrance, but to yourself. If you haven't tried it, check out Intoxicated from Killian. Number three comes from the brand Parfums de Marly. This is one of my favorite tobacco fragrances ever created. Actually, it ranks currently number three. So uh, I'm not going to tell you what the other two are. You're going to have to wait for that. But anyway, this is Herod. Herod was a blind buy success for me. A love at first sniff. Oh, I love that spicy opening, that punch, that peppery spice. You also have incense going on in here. You have the tobacco, as I mentioned. You have this vanillic tone there in the base. Oh, so spicy, incense -y, tobacco, vanillic. It's so good. It's so sexy and seductive. If you want attention, if you want to impress a lady, spray this on and tell me how much good luck that this brought you. This is just some sexy fire juice right here. This should be, if you're a fan of spicy, incense type fragrances and you appreciate tobacco, this should definitely be in your collection. And the reason why I love unisex fragrances is because men and women uh, appreciate them. You know, I know many women out there in the fragrance community that do love this, that do wear this. So what does that tell you, men? If women like it, that means they like smelling it. So wear the damn thing, all right? But that's Herod from Parfums de Marly. Ah, so sexy. So number two comes from a brand that I, one of my best discoveries of 2021, I'm not gonna say a whole lot about it. This one comes from Sense of Wood. This is Plum and Cognac. This, Oh, it's beautiful. It, it's just beautiful. It, it really is. It really, really is. You have this combination up top of plum, vanilla, your cognac. You have some woods in there. There's definitely some floral notes that aren't credited, but that I, I pick up here. Osmanthus, something else. 
you know, another fruity floral that, that is escaping my memory, but oh man, this stuff is just amazing. Amazing, amazing fragrance. You have this oak barrel essence in here that really gives you the idea of cognac being aged in this oak barrel. And man, is this stuff good. It's very alluring, intriguing. Again, another one, if you want to impress a special someone, perhaps a lady, this is your elixir, gentlemen, I'm telling you. This stuff is heavily complimented. I, I love to dress this one up and wear this to the office. Jessica, my girlfriend, she loves when I spray this test, you know, do test sprays of this or wear this. She absolutely loves this fragrance. She, in fact, goes gaga over this freaking thing. This is amazing. It's such an attention getter. People love the way this one smells. Again, performance here, your moderate longevity, moderate sillage, moderate um, projection. But... This stuff is just simply fantastic. One you need to know uh, more about, and you will very, very soon. Plum and Cognac, check it out if you haven't. Sense of Wood. Number one, why? Because when I think of fall time fragrances, when I pull these babies out, I dust them off, I clean them up, there is one fragrance that I look forward to, to wear in the fall time that actually puts a smile on my face when I see it. I'm talking about Triumph of Bacchus by Argos. That's why it's number one here on this list. Three-point pressurized atomizer. I'm going to go one for a little tiny stream. Boom. Oh, man. Oh, man. Those two notes up top, peach and apple. What a way to start a fragrance out. That really sucks you in. It captures you. It's going to capture the people that are around you. Rum absolute. The rum here is not heavy. There's enough rum to help you understand, okay, this is definitely a boozy fragrance that I'm dealing with, but not enough to turn people off, not enough to make you smell like maybe like you've had a few too many, just the right amount here. Perfectly done. Now, what makes this a little bit more, you know, of a masculine fragrance is the way that the tobacco is used here. The tobacco is used in such a more sophisticated fashion. It's a very leafy tobacco more of a dry tobacco note. It is just so incredible. It's sophisticated. It's very sexy. This is one you definitely want to wear dressed up. This does not strike me as a casual fragrance. Perfect fall time fragrance. That's why it is number one here on this list today. Guys, if you have not checked this one out, you're doing yourself a disservice. And the only way to change that is to sample this fragrance. I have a link below in the, uh, the description there to save you 10% off. But yeah, guys, definitely check this one out if you haven't. Triumph of Bacchus. This is by the brand Argos. Check it out if you haven't already. 15 fragrances. One honorable mention. We miss you. We love you, Carlos. Redbrook Parfum. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the list. Please sound off in the comments below. Share your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. Hey, wait, wait. Before you leave, I need you to do me another favor. I need you to do me another favor. Love each other. Respect everyone. Take care of each other. Life is far too short for the nonsense. So don't, caught, don't get caught up in it. Don't start it. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe out there. Be kind to each other. I'll see you soon. Peace.